Imagine yourself standing next to one of the most powerful machines ever built a particle accelerator, a marvel of modern science capable of propelling tiny subatomic particles at nearly the speed of light. These accelerators, like the famous Large Hadron Collider, are designed to explore the deepest secrets of the universe by smashing particles together at unimaginable energies. But let's pose a bizarre question, what would happen if you, out of curiosity or sheer recklessness, decided to stick your hand or even your head into one of these machines while it was running? This might sound like the premise of a sci-fi horror movie, but believe it or not, it's actually something that happened in real life. In 1978, a Russian scientist named Anatoly Bugursky was working on a particle accelerator when he leaned in to inspect a malfunctioning part of the machine. At that exact moment, a proton beam a concentrated stream of high-energy particles shot through his skull. The beam entered the back of his head, traveled through his brain, and exited near his nose. Now, normally, we'd expect something like this to be instantly fatal. After all, particle beams carry an incredible amount of energy, enough to penetrate through solid matter. But against all odds, Bugersky survived. The effects were dramatic, though. The left side of his face became paralyzed, and he eventually lost hearing in one ear. Yet, astonishingly, he continued to live, work, and even complete his doctorate, with no major cognitive impairments. So, what does this tell us about what would happen if you were to put your hand or any other body part in the path of a particle beam? First off, it's important to understand that these beams are no joke. The particles inside them are traveling at immense speeds, and the energy they carry can cause serious damage to living tissue. But because these beams are so small often just a few particles wide the damage is highly localized. In Bugersky's case, the beam essentially drilled a tiny, precise hole through his brain, rather than causing widespread destruction. If you were to put your hand in the path of a particle beam, the result would likely be severe burns and tissue damage at the entry and exit points. The beam would pass through your hand, damaging cells along its path, potentially leading to a loss of function in the affected area. The real danger, however, comes from the radiation exposure. Particle beams can deliver a massive dose of radiation in a very short amount of time, which could result in radiation sickness, increased cancer risk, or other long-term health effects if the exposure is prolonged or repeated. And what if it's your head? Well, as Bugersky's story shows, you might survive but not without some serious side effects. The beam would cause localized damage to the brain tissue it passes through, potentially affecting motor skills, speech, memory, or other critical functions. In extreme cases, the damage could be fatal, or it could lead to long-term disabilities. In the end, particle accelerators are designed with numerous safety features to prevent accidents like Bugerskis from happening. These machines are highly controlled environments, and access to the areas where the beams are active is usually restricted. But Bugerskis' story serves as a fascinating, albeit terrifying, reminder of the immense power these machines harness and the delicate balance between scientific discovery and human safety. So. The next time you hear about a particle accelerator making groundbreaking discoveries, remember the incredible forces at play and that some experiments are definitely better left to the professionals. Thanks for watching, and stay curious but stay safe.